Alright y'all, we're playing some Age of History 2 today. We're coming back strong. Uh, for those who don't know, I, I injured my leg like a week ago. So, that's kind of like why I wasn't really posting or whatever. And I also was just kind of like out of it anyway, because I couldn't really... I couldn't, like, I could barely even like sit down in like this chair to record. Like, that's how, how like messed up my leg was or whatever. But now I can, uh, for the most part, I would, I mean, I'm not saying it like it'd be per it's perfect, but I mean, for the most part, I think I could probably make a video now. So I'm probably going to play something. I don't know. I kind of want to do sandbox mode. I ain't gonna lie. And I might do sand, <laughs> might do sandbox mode. Uh, before this video, I literally recorded an entire video. Uh, playing Ethiopia and then it it didn't save the video so I was like super disappointed or whatever so I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna play as Ethiopia again I could but I'm not sure we could I mean like yeah we could even do like Siam or whatever that could be a f interesting gameplay oh actually you know what I'm gonna play as the Philippines because this is the country that I've never played as before and and like one fifth of my my viewer base is from the Philippines so we're gonna play this do I want to do... I really want to do <laughs> sandbox mode. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, you know what? Just for this video, I'm going to do sandbox mode. It's going to make people angry. But I, I want to play sandbox mode because I'm not... You know, I'm not in the mood for like... I don't know. Grinding up a whole lot. I just want to have some fun. So the first thing we're going to be doing is just making sure like we're the top economy in the world. I think that's going to be our first major thing we do. So, something like that, and we're already a top 7 country. Uh, our population is going to start booming quite a bit, and we're probably going to ally with maybe America or something like that, I don't know. Alright, we've been attacked by China, so China has declared war on the Philippines, which means we officially have a rival to go to war with. So, we're going to build a bunch of ports all around our nation, and we're going to prepare for the invasion uh, against China. Hmm. A lot of people are probably wondering like how many more Age of History 2 videos do I have planned until the end of this year of 2023. Uh, not really a whole lot. This might be one of the last ones I actually do this year. I was thinking about maybe doing like a North Pole one where I play as like Santa Claus or whatever. But that, <laughs> that's up to you guys if you want me to do that. Uh, this video might be like the last uh, Age of History 2 video I make for this year. I'm not sure. All right, we've landed 40,000 troops in China. I don't think it's gonna be enough troops, but I mean, it's definitely a start. And then we can probably bring in some reinforcements as well. China is pretty stacked on troops, so we're gonna have to kind of fall back a little bit here. And then these guys can, they can kind of rush to the front lines and, and resupply our dying, cri crippling supply lines. So that will be pretty useful for us. After that, we can start making some attacks on China again. And this guy can go here. This guy can go here. And now we should have enough troops for the China war. I think most of China's military is probably taken out at this point. And we can start pushing for their capital. We're gonna make a risky play and we're gonna try to hit the capital this turn and that could be the victory we need to win I'm not sure we will take the capital we take Shanghai and I'd say for the most part China is probably about done for here they've they've lost most of their their stuff China is probably about done here I think they've lost the majority of their land and we can just kind of slowly take over the little pieces of land that they have left I'm surprised China actually survived a little attack from us right there uh, but for the most part China appears to be about done they don't have a whole lot left going for them we're gonna take over the rest of these provinces out west this guy will kind of move this direction this guy can you might have to do a little bit of splitting up uh, to weaken China so they don't advance on us. This guy can move forward. 
This guy will kind of just reinforce these two provinces and this guy will also move forward and this guy will move forward. After that, we're going to finish off the battle in the west and this guy will take over this province with help from that guy. This guy will move forward, this guy will move forward, and all of these guys will move. Probably just move everybody forward, I think, this turn. We might slow down a little bit here and just kind of rebuild the troops. And then after that, we can send half of the guys into this province. Half the guys into this province. This guy can go forward. This guy can split up into two little attacks, and then this guy can move forward as well. And just like that, China has been defeated. I think we have a 100% war score now. So now the Philippines can take quite a bit of land from China. I'm not really sure what all we're going to take. Probably mainly the coastline and large population centers, I would say. All right, send demands, and China has surrendered that land to us. So now we have quite a bit of land from China, and they've been forced into a landlocked type nation. So the Philippines has pretty much doubled in size and China has been basically destroyed, I would say. They're probably not going to be that strong after that. We might actually send a an alliance to uh, Japan and then form a federation with them as well. And then I think I'm going to uh, improve relations with the other European members and we're going to probably form an alliance with them if we can. I don't know if we'll be able to get into this alliance, but it'll be it'll be nice if we can get into to this alliance. Italy is probably going to be our our guy to help us get into that. Japan has accepted my my invitation to form a federation, so now we have taken over Japan. So we're going to be the Republic of the Philippines, and we are now the number one country on the planet uh, at the moment. So that is a good thing. I'm going to work on our capital, make sure it's like the best city in the world by quite a bit. We might as well work on Beijing and, and get this city up to standards as well. Alright, so we're going to go to war with all these guys and kind of unify uh, at least a decent chunk of China. I don't know about all of China, but quite a bit. And we're going to do that and kind of just see what we can get accomplished here. First of all, we're kind of outmatched here in the north, so I need to uh, work on getting these troops up. We're going to probably make a couple little strikes here uh, against Manchuria. And then we're going to build some more troops. This guy can move forward. Uh, this guy can probably move forward. I think most of these guys can probably move forward right here uh, pretty safely. We're going to try to make a push for the capital of communist China and then we're going to do a little bit of, you know, kind of cheeky attacks on them uh, to kind of like weaken their forces. I think this turn is mainly just going to be about kind of stabilizing our front lines and uh, making sure that, you know, China can't hurt us a whole lot. I think that's going to be our main goal this turn. And then, as for these guys, we're going to have to do a lot of splitting up. They're probably not going to do that well, but we're kind of just kind of playing it off of what we can do. And then this guy will also split up a little bit. So we're going to see how this turn plays out, uh, if it'll even go well for us. And I think it should be all right. So we're going to take the capital in southern China. And we're also going to take over all of communist China and all of the blue country, which I forget the name of. And just like that, we've gained a ton of land from all of our enemies. And I'm, I'm kind of satisfied with this. We've built a, 
a pretty strong little empire for the Philippines. We went to war with a bunch of Chinese countries. Hopefully you enjoyed this little video, and I will see you all for the next one. Peace.